aware are you? Did you know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month? How aware are you of your mind? Hey guys, Allie here. Today I want to talk to you about mental health, being mindful, and three apps that I use for meditation. Did you know that 18.1% of Americans suffer from depression, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder? It's a pretty big number. A lot of it has to do with our mental health. Some of these things can't be avoided, some of them are genetic, most of them can't be fixed just with a change of thought, but I've experienced a huge change in my life by changing the way that I think. I feel like taking care of your mind is the most important workout you could do every day. Obviously, I am not a healthcare professional, so please seek professional help if that's what you are looking for. I am here to share with you ways that I've improved my own mindset just through meditation and mindful awareness. I have personally lost people close to me due to suicide, and suicide is one of those things that I think will trouble us all, especially if you've experienced it personally, because you can never ask that person what happened, what went wrong. And the, the few cases that I've experienced, the people seemed fine on the outside, but then weren't and took action into their own hands. I believe that a lot of this has to do with our mental health, the control of our thoughts, remembering that we are in control of our thoughts. And if we can learn to understand our thought patterns, to understand the ego, and to mindfully transition our thoughts a different way, we can have more control of our minds. Three apps I love to use are number one, Headspace. It's a classic right now. You can actually do a free 10 day meditation to try out their services. I really like guided meditation. If you're just beginning, a great way to start is through Headspace. The second app I really like to use is Calm. This is actually the first app that I use to discover meditation. It used to be free. Calm has a lot of different styles of meditations for sleeping, for motivation, for relaxation, for anxiety, kind of along the same lines as Headspace, but Headspace is definitely its own entity. Calm is more broad, there are more options, and it's just a different vibe. You can also choose your music, which I really enjoy. So you can choose the meditation and then choose the music, so you have a little bit more control over the vibe that you're going for. The third app I really like is called Samsara. I hope I'm saying it right. This is just a very simple meditation app. There is no guidance, it is just a timer. You can set how long you wanna meditate. It will give you three bells to begin your meditation and then three bells to end your meditation. So give Samsara a try if you're intermediate to advanced in meditating or if you don't like the guided meditations, try the Samsara app just for five minutes a day. If anything, I would suggest just five minutes a day of meditation, either before you start your day or at the end of your day, I think you will see a really big improvement. I personally have seen my anxiety and my type A personality tendencies go down because I've been meditating and been more mindful of my thoughts. They talk about allowing your thoughts to come and go, to ebb and flow, just like waves in the ocean. This is a really important part. People think you can meditate wrong. You can't. <laughs> your meditation is gonna be particular to who you are as an individual, but I think it is important to discover your own thought patterns, why you think the way you do, to be more aware of your thoughts, and to be mindful of those things throughout the day. So join me for a 10-day meditation challenge with hashtag MindfulMayMeditation starting today, when this video is posted, Thursday. And let's get more mindful together. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Made By Me, please hit that subscribe button below as well as that little bell if you want to be notified of any new videos coming out every Thursday at 11 a.m. I make videos about motherhood, lifestyle, health, and eco, and there are some big changes coming to the channel very soon. So stay tuned and stay mindful. Bye!